Hi guys, welcome back. Last time I showed you how to do the bricks with that um, mixture, and this time I'm going to show you how to do it with a sand and glue mixture. Alright, so what you're going to need is you're going to need yourself some glue. You can use school glue or you can use this. It takes a good bit of glue. I'm going to mix this all in my glue until I get a paste. You'll know that the glue is completely covered in there. Should look kind of like that. And this is just regular play sand. So, I don't have a lot of board here, so I'm just going to do part of the board. You can use the tool that came with it if you want to spread this in here. Or you can use a paint stick or something. I'm just taking it across here like this just to clear it off of the surface. Oh, I see I missed one there. A little bit in there. Now here's the tool. Since it's clean, you can just kind of go across it and it'll get anything that's not on there. And then there you go. Now you have those kind of papers.
completely up to you which way you go. This will dry hard because we mixed the glue with it. Once again, wash all your stuff. Okay, now to dry this, again, you're just gonna take a microfiber rag and just pat it dry. Make sure you got everything out of the middle of it. And you're good to go for your next time. Okay, another thing you can do while it's still a little damp, if you wanna round the edges just a little bit with your finger, you can. Just a tiny bit though. If you want to make these and glue them on individually, just put some wax paper underneath of it. But make sure you tape your wax paper down so when you lift it, it doesn't lift with it. And these are already starting to set up because they're hardened and already just in that few minutes that I had it sitting while I was washing the tools. Okay, so since I have a little bit left over, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this sandbox. There's a whole tutorial on how to do this sandbox, so you can check that out on my page as well. And this is also a kit that you can purchase. But when the sand dries, it will be hard. So you don't have to worry about it falling out all over the place. It is okay to leave the sand on the edge if you like. Now this is a little sand bucket. The sand is hard as can be in there, as you can see. Well, most of the sand is hard. Some of it must not have had glue on it, but as you can see, it's hard. It's not really falling out the whole thing. That'll actually work better because that was a little bit drier when I did it. But now we're gonna do the same thing to this one. And we're gonna actually mound this sand so it's a little bit higher up. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to stuff it down in here and then I'm going to take that little mound and I'm going to push it down into the sand and connect it all together. On the back side of it, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more sand so it looks like it's buried a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more sand on this one because 
I just did that one in a hurry one day and it just didn't have a whole lot in there. So I'm going to just add a little bit more and just have that one where it just stands up. Like that. Alright. When it dries you can wipe off your sand or you can leave it on the edge. You can even put some up on the edge if you want and just leave it there for messy purposes. It is sticking to my finger. All my other sandboxes are neat, so this one I'm just going to make a little messy. All right, and that's it. So these are pretty hard. I mean, they are really on there too. So they're hard and that's what they're going to look like. The other ones are still wet. They will probably take at least a day or two to dry. All right, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to like and share below. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.